In this video, I have for you a legend of French football, one of the best players of his generation, the unique and talented Franck Ribéry. He was an incredible player and I chose 5 moves that I think represent his game very well. So if you're interested in playing a bit like him, well, I'll see you after the intro. <laughs> To do this gear, you should be moving. You cannot be standing still when you're attempting it. Ideally, you should move straight at the defender. The faster you go, the more effective this gear move will be, but of course, the more difficult it will also become. Try to go as fast as possible depending on the situation, because your momentum will allow you to eliminate the defender more easily. Then, depending on the speed at which you are going, you will have to make an outside cut forward, more or less far from the defender. The faster you go, the further away the cut will be from the defender to prevent him from touching the ball when you make the inside one. Timing is very important for this skill. Also, make sure you don't do a body fend to the other side just before doing that outside cut because otherwise, the next step won't work. So then, after doing that outside cut, you will have to continue on the next step with an inside one also made forward. Very important that this be done on the step that followed the outside cut because you want to play on the element of surprise and also the speed of execution. For this skill, a tip I have for you is to go as fast as possible to eliminate the defender with ease. Not to approach him slowly, then try to go fast. It won't work as effective for this skill. Anyway, all this together gives that. To begin with, make sure the ball is on the side of your strong foot or the foot you are going to use to make the skill. If it's not, put it there with a touch as I did in this tutorial. But in a real game, the idea is that the ball would be on this side naturally. Then make a drag back to bring the ball back to you. Pay attention to the supporting foot, which is right next to the ball when you do this step. The standing foot will allow you to keep your balance but also protect the ball in case the defender tries to take it from you. Also, observe the upper part of my body which is leaning backwards, which is ideal to decelerate but also to reaccelerate in the other direction. And finally, to complete the skill, push the ball with the inside of your foot behind your supporting leg to go to the other side and eliminate your opponent. By the way, remember to push the ball according to your next move. So if you want to keep dribbling, keep it close to you. Or if you want to run with the ball for example, push it a little further. All this gives that. To start, use the inside of your foot to push the ball sideways towards the side of your supporting foot. Observe the supporting foot which is really right next to the ball. And then just after that, push it with the inside of your other foot 
to push it again but this time forward. Very simple skill to use, however, for the first tip, I would like to stress for you to not hit the ball when you're doing it. It's more like you're bringing it with you. Very important that you really cushion it when you touch it. To do it in motion is the same principle except that you have to take into account the speed of the ball. The faster the ball goes, the more you will have to bring the ball back slightly. For this skill, also remember that the defender must throw himself at you. Together, it gives that. To begin with, make sure the ball is on the side of your strong foot or the foot with which you want to perform the fake shot. If it's not, then put it there with a touch. Ideally, during the game, the ball should be there naturally. Then once it's the case, plant your supporting foot close to the ball and your strong foot as well as your arm in the air as if you really wanted to strike the ball. Remember that this is what makes the defender believe that you are about to shoot. So do it well. Finish with an inside cut which should be done on the side mainly to prevent the defender from touching the ball but also forward to eliminate him. All this gives that. To make this move effectively, it's ideal if it's done with your back to the goal and moving towards the side line. You can go slow or fast, but it's important that you are on the move. Then, when you are up to the ball, you will have to perform a curve turn in the direction opposite to the side line, basically towards the goal. When you do that, make sure you jump and turn your hips at the same time. Know that this first step serves to stop the defender and make him believe that you are coming towards him. Whereas just after that you make another touch with the outside of your other foot to the side to eliminate him. This will surprise him as defenders most of the time are definitely not expecting this. At the same time, don't forget to push the ball far enough away from you to be able to accelerate away. Stay aware of all the defenders who might be able to take the ball from you though. Always know roughly where they are before do it. Anyway, all together, it gives that. 